In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can use an hydrometer to determine your alcohol levels. Hi, welcome to DIY Fermentation, your channel for how to do fermentation on a shoestring budget. Again, as always, if you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe button and notify buttons below, and I will try and do one of these once every week. Okay, so what is a hydrometer? A hydrometer is nothing more than a sealed glass tube that's graduated, and at the end of the tube, there's going to be a weight. Okay, so why exactly are you using a hydrometer? The hydrometer allows you to make some initial adjustments to your wine, or wine to be. It allows you to adjust the sweetness and it will allow you to adjust the final alcohol level of what your wine is going to have when it's finally all said and done. But in order to make these adjustments or to find out what the outcome is going to be, you need to take a specific reading first. And that's basically going to be the process of pouring in your juice Okay, and taking your hydrometer to get a, or an initial reading. And basically this is the amount of sugar content that's already present in your wine. Now that number, in this particular case, let's zoom in here, is going to be, if I can turn it around a little bit. Looks like 1.072. As you can say, as you can tell, they're measured in, in, in tenths, 10, 20, 30, so forth, starting with 1.0. And goes up from there depending on the amount of sugar you've got present in your wine. Now, if I were to just go ahead and put, uh, put my yeast in and begin producing uh, wine with what I've got here, uh, one of the other scales on this uh, hydrometer is the uh, amount of potential alcohol it's capable of producing. And in this particular case, if I just went straight, it looks like I would get a potential alcohol of about 10%, 10% alcohol by volume. Now. If that's what you're looking for, then you can just go ahead and start your yeast and uh, go for it. But if you're looking for a sweeter wine, or if you're looking for wine that's going to have a higher alcohol content, then you need to adjust the sugar content in your wine. And basically, the only way to do that is to add more sugar. So I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to add more sugar. Tilt this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right. I made some simple syrup earlier, so I'm going to use that to sweeten this up. And since we're just doing this, instead of making extra wine, I'm just going to dump all that in and see if that's going to change our reading any. It should. Basically, it means that the hydrometer is going to float a little bit higher meaning that I've got a little bit more sugar and it's going to produce a little bit more alcohol in the final product. Yeah. Alright, put that over there. Let's go ahead and pour that back in. Yeah, right, like that's going to work. Let's uh, pour some of this out. And we'll just make an adjustment in the levels in just a minute. Let's put a hydrometer back in. And go ahead and finish adding the rest. Oh, that's floating way up there. 
Now just by adding, just by adding sugar, our hydrometer is now floating way up there. And if I were to go ahead and uh, try and ferment that, you can tell that it's way over 15%, closer to 20% potential alcohol by volume. And the hydrometer number is going to give me a specific gravity reading of, looks like, uh, get that down a bit. It's going to be 1.1. And let that bob a little bit. Looks like 1.140, which means a couple of things. It's probably going to be a very sweet dessert wine, and it's probably going to be very strong. <laughs> depending on depending on how I ferment it but that's what giving so now that you've got your specific number of 1.144 because you measure it by twos 1.1.14 in reality it looks like 1.4.1.48 1.148. Now, if we take that number and towards the end of the fermentation process, if we take that number, which is our starting number, and we take another reading at the end of the fermentation process or stages in between, pour this out, it's going to tell us what our alcohol by volume is going to be. Now, with this wine that I made earlier, actually I made this about three weeks ago, on the 24th, uh, the initial specific gravity reading was 1.104. Now, if I take a reading on this now, it's going to give me a different number. Let me pause. Okay, now... Making a little adjustment here. If I wanted to test the uh, current uh, gravity of or sugar content of this particular batch of wine, let's go ahead and <clears throat> take off this airlock over there. And let's go ahead and put in our, our hydrometer now. Makes things a little bit more easier for me using my trusty turkey baster. Let's see if I can soak up a little bit of this wine. It still has another month or two to go, but it's definitely drinkable now if I really, really needed to have a glass of wine. It is time for me to rack it again, but another video, another day. Two. Yep. It's going to take three this time. All right. All right that boy's way down there. Over there. All right. Now, if I could zoom in a little bit here. Way up a bit. <laughs> that looks like that's coming in at zero point nine nine zero, just to be sure. Yep, zero point nine nine zero. Interesting. That means that uh, this is going to be a dry wine, but now that I've got numbers to work with, if I started at 1.104 and I'm currently at 0 0.990, let me do the math. Okay, in doing the math, it looks like uh, this is going to come out to 14.96 AVB, alcohol by volume. Which means that, uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty uh, pretty tasty wine once it's finally all said and done. 
Uh, one thing you may notice is that this wine is probably not finished fermenting yet, even though it's, 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 it's down there. Uh, so fermentation has basically been completed, but uh, uh, either I'm looking at uh, a little bit of off-gassing from the uh, built-up CO2, or it just hasn't finished fermenting yet, so it might go a little bit lower. Uh, not much lower because it's now at the point where uh, hopefully a lot of the uh, remaining yeast has, has killed itself off because of the, uh, the alcohol level. And um, uh, when I decide to go ahead and get ready to bottle it uh, and start back sweetening it, I might not have as much of an issue with uh, restarting fermentation. But again, once you've got your initial number and you've got your final number, you, can, you now know how much alcohol by volume your wine has produced. And you can just go ahead and make the, uh, make the notation. And uh, if it's uh, a little drier than you would like, or if it's a little too sweet, uh, then in your next batch, you can make the adjustments by adding a little bit more sugar or a little bit less sugar so that your final, final number will, uh, will be more uh, uh, close to uh, what it is you're trying to achieve. But again, that's basically how you would use the hydrometer uh, it's a simple little tool. It's been around for, 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 for quite a long time. It's not, it's not high tech by any means, but this is all you need to, uh, to be able to find out uh, what your wine is going to do and what your wine has done. Uh, so again, uh, there you go.